Let's see what type of music we can make. Let's see what type of music we can make. Let's see what type of music we can make. Using a squeaking door. Using a vacuum cleaner. Basketball sounds. Welcome to season one of SJ's Sonic Brews. Let's make some sounds. Today I'm going to be making a drum kit using only basketball sounds. We're going to start with the dribble. That's going to be our kick drum. Pitch it down and assign it to this note here. The backboard is going to be our snare. Let's go ahead and load that in. Trim it so we just get the sound of the ball hitting the backboard. Pitch it down, assign it to this note here. Now let's import the rim sound, which is going to be our hi-hat. Prop it. Pitch it up and assign it to this note here. Let's add a bit of reverb on all of these. We're going to turn down our low end and turn up our high end. The entire kit's going to end up sounding like this. Let's see what type of instrument we can create. Using a vacuum cleaner. Import the vacuum cleaner. Turn the clip volume down. I'm hearing an F. So let's try and isolate that. Let's isolate the pitch. Export the processed audio. Let's open up our sampler. Let's change the root key to F. Let's turn the volume back up. Add some reverb. Let's try and isolate the pitch even further. Use an amp to isolate the high end. Let's EQ the high end again. Let's add a maximizer so we can beef up the tones. Let's add a compressor so we can try and limit the air. Let's add a stereo imager so we can widen out the high frequencies. Let's add a smaller EQ so we can try and isolate the highs even more. I have no idea what I just made, but... Sounds cool. Let's see what type of instrument we can make Using a garage door. Let's import the garage door sound. There's an underlying tone like a mmm, so B, so let's try and isolate that. Let's see if we can isolate the pitch. Now let's export the modified sound. Drag the modified file into our DAW, repeating the process to isolate the tone even further. Now we can actually see the pitch on our graph here. Pull up our sampler, set the root key to B, isolate the tone again, add some reverb to our sound, run it through an amp so we can isolate the lows. Let's move an octave up so it doesn't boom as much. Let's add some distortion, because why not? Next thing you know, you got a really heavy sounding distorted guitar. Let's see what type of music we can make. Using a car horn. Import the car horn. Let's stretch the audio so it has a longer sound and crop it. Turn the clip volume down. I'm hearing two pitches here. Uh, so a uh, G sharp and a C, so this should be interesting. Let's add some reverb to the sound. Let's take some of the high end away so we can hear the bottom pitch more. Now let's export the sound. Open up our sampler. Set the root key to G sharp. Turn the volume back up. Add some more reverb so we can get a warmer sound. Use a maximizer to turn the volume up a little more. Cut the high end so we can get more of the lower tone. Don't know why, but I feel like being under the sea right now. Today I'm going to be making a drum kit using a car door. Import the car door, crop it, export the cropped file, pull up our sampler, pitch it down and assign it to this note here. We're going to import the sound again, just so we can try and get a different percussive property from it for our snare. Put some reverb on it. Cut off the low end so we can get a thinner sound. Export that file. I thought we were going to get a hi-hat sound. Turns out we're getting more of a clap, so I'm going to try something else here. We're going to copy the hi-hat track we just made. Paste it twice so we get three of them. I'm going to move these clips further apart. Turn the volume down. Export the clapping file. Take the second file we exported. Pitch it down and assign it to this note here. Take the last file we exported. Pitch it down and assign it to this note here. Add some low end to give it more boom. Let's add some reverb to give it more space. Now we got a stomp and clap sample that Johnny Cash would have loved. Let's see what type of music we can make using a home alarm system. Let's import the alarm sound. We're going to turn the clip volume up. So there are two notes in all of these tones. So a G and an A. Cut the clip so we only get one sound. Open up our sampler. Set the root key to A. Let's add some reverb to give it more space. Let's add some distortion. Let's turn down our low end a little bit. 
For some reason, I feel like I'm underground in a Mario game. Let's see what type of music we can make using a toothbrush. Import the toothbrush. We're going to set our tempo so we can create a brush loop. We're going to quantize it to a 16th note so the brush strokes sound like this. We're going to cut the brush strokes. Copy and paste so we have a four bar loop. Let's cut off some of the high end. Export the brush loop. Now let's crop the file so we get just one brush stroke. Export the brush stroke. Let's open up our sampler. Pitch it down and assign it to this note. Let's add a second brush stroke to the sample. Pitch it up and assign it to this note. Let's add the brush loop and assign it to this note here. Now we got a brush kit. Let's see what type of music we can make using a microwave button. Let's import the microwave button. Let's take off the highs and lows just so we get the tone. Let's export the file. I'm hearing a B. So that's the note we're going to be using. Let's open up our sampler. Let's set the root key to B. Let's turn the volume up. Let's add some reverb. Stevie Wonder would have had a blast with this one. Very superstitious. Let's see what type of music we can make using glass. Let's import the sound of the glass. The interesting thing here is it's between two keys. It's between an F and an E. We're gonna to to try and fix that. Since we can see the pitch on the graph, we can just correct it and adjust it to the nearest note. Like that. So now the tuned glass sounds like this. Let's export the new glass file. I don't even need to say this anymore. You'll know what this step is. Let's set the root key to E. Let's crop it. And now we can play Carol of the Bells. Let's see what type of music we can make using a squeaking door. Let's import the squeaky door. Let's crop the file. The problem with this one is I'm hearing like six notes here. So this is gonna be a challenge. We're gonna try and get rid of these scoops in the pitch. Here's what the auto-tune door sounds like. Cut it so there's just one note. We're going to cut it more so now we just hear one tone. Let's cut off some of the high end so it sounds less thin. Export the tune door. Mm-hmm. Let's set the root key to B. Let's crop it. Let's turn the volume up. Let's add some reverb. And now we have an 80s style synth.